25 years ago, back when dial-up modems hissed and sputtered to launch us onto the net, few imagined that a handful of startups, with businesses largely not understood, would evolve into global monopolies as all-pervasive and powerful as the 19th century industrial trusts. Warren disagrees, she calls Facebook, Google, and Amazon high-tech monopolies in her article posted on, saying they have too much power over our economy, our society, and our democracy. They've bulldozed competition, used our private information for profit, and tilted the playing field against everyone else. And in the process, they have hurt small businesses and stifled innovation. Concerns about companies growing too big and controlling their market date back to the 19th century robber barons, when railroads, oil companies, steel companies, even sugar companies and beef packers, became untouchable giants, fixing prices, bribing, buying up and killing competition along the way. The Sherman Act of 1890, designed to reign in monopolies, wasn't given teeth until Theodore Roosevelt's administration, when the Justice Department sued to dissolve a railroad merger and took on the six largest meat packers over price fixing. In 1911, the Supreme Court took the bold step of ruling for the breakup of John D. Rockefeller's Standard Oil, smashing it into 34 separate corporations. Regulatory oversight may be beefed up if Warren gets her way, though initially, one couldn't read about her monopoly-busting proposals on Facebook, which immediately took down her ad. After the removal made headlines, platform administrators reposted it, explaining that it was taken down because it displayed Facebook's logo. You can be an umpire or you can own teams, Warren explained. But you can't be an umpire and own one of the teams that's in the game. She believes that fear of her proposal has inspired Amazon to change some practices, demphasizing Amazon basics on vendor pages. Last Wednesday, Warren introduced a bill in the Senate that would bolster enforcement powers, though not aimed specifically at tech companies, under her proposed Corporate Executive Accountability Act negligent company bigwigs could be criminally charged and face jail time if their company is found guilty of a crime or is found liable for a civil violation affecting the health, safety, finances, or personal data of 1% of the U.S. population or 1% of the population of any state.